Enix. Before there was Square Enix. There was just Enix. And Robotrek. Sounds much more interesting than Star Trek already. After all, they only had data. Anyway, hello everybody. Oh my god. That is quite the robot. Hello everybody and welcome to an episode of Robotrek. Already I'm a bit interested because I've been told that this game is essentially... Ooh! Story! Space! The final robot frontier. These are the voyages of a robot. Many forms of life, life exist there. Many forms of robot. Somewhere in space lies a planet called Quentix in a town called Rococo. Well, we'll find out all about that, I'm sure. Anyway, I'm just going to be checking out this game because, honestly, I've been wanting to play a JRPG in a while. And what I've heard about this is it plays pretty much like... Ooh. Wipe. Not backspace. Wipe. It plays pretty much like... Uh, Pokemon, except with robots. Which, I mean, I'm totally cool with that. I mean, who... <sighs> Pokemon's pretty fun. Only problem is, it doesn't have robots, so... This sounds like the perfect solution to me. Oh, God damn it! I put in all capitals and they have lowercase. I hate when that happens. <laughs> so you don't want to... In that case, what are we... Is this our lady friend, or...? Oh god, don't tell me this is our mom and I was thinking about her that way. Akihabara. Ooh, I actually pronounced the name right, I think. <laughs> You're finally awake. You slept for a long time. While you were sleeping, I finished unpacking your room. Wow. We are the most... self-serving child. Please, get up. Nagisa wants to meet you. She just fu finished unpacking. Nagisa, Nagisa. Uh, figure out Shen- Oh, okay, we're not in a cutscene anymore. <laughs> you gonna talk to the mayor today? Hurry, before it gets dark. Oh man, I get to talk to the mayor? Fantastic. Okay, uh, okay, I can only get out that side. Thanks for locking me in. I thought that was a dog. Well... We all learn and make mistakes, don't we? <laughs> oh man, so... Are we the only person with an actual... American name? Well, at least everything's unpacked now. I know, no help, no help for us. Today I should pay my respects to the mayor. Man. So... Should I have paid my, my respects to the mayor of New York once I moved here? Ooh, I better get right on that then. Ah, uh, yes, we can already run. So he's right up here, right? You lied to me, sister. But we found clean. And we found cure. Inventor's friend level 18. Ah, well, maybe we can find inventor's friend level 24. Oh, how about this one? We got any picture books, Inventor's Friend? No, we can't even read Inventor's Friend number four. Well then. Ah, level two. Well, aren't we just the worst inventor? But already, finding things in bookcases and cupboards where the things shouldn't be, like all those 500 gold points, Fantastic. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go and see the mayor. I'm sure he'll just want to be like, Well, welcome to our town. Get the hell out of my office, kid. Maybe not. We just moved into the house. I, f I better tell you a little thing about this town. Come on, give me the down low, kid. Always ring the doorbell before entering a house. You could get in trouble. Let's go exploring later. Well, you have just a very... divided mind, don't you? 
Well, if you get in trouble, let's try. Oh. Does that count as uh, ringing the doorbell, or is this lady gonna yell at us? Oh. You're the young inventor who moved in next door. Young, but distinguished. Tell me if there's anything I can do. You're such a hard worker. I'm on your side. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, too. Strange mushrooms, but there's a lot of them. Let's eat them! Sounds like a plan. Break into this person's house, steal all their stuff, eat their mushrooms. The Nice Lady Book. Today's menu, mushroom yogurt. Oh, from now on, a healthy diet. Oh, I, I'm, uh, I shouldn't have looked. Mushroom yogurt. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna give me nightmares. Just imagining that uh, mixture of textures. Ugh. I like to read Mint's article. She's a great reporter. And I bet she is. No, really, I bet she is. Uh, that guy snoozing under the tree tells some interesting old stories. Have you talked to him? No, I'm trying to find the mayor. So... Well, he can't even ring the doorbell. <laughs> well, I guess this counts, but... Can we even enter without ringing the doorbell? What? What? I'm a little hard of hearing. Can you talk a little louder? What? Inventor? Even if you're young and can invent lots of things for people... Oh, no, even if you're young, you can invent lots of things for people. Hmm. Let's see. Beware! The tunnel is dangerous. Do not enter. The management. Well, I'll just have to talk to a manager about that, shan't I? Oh. Uh, okay. Anyway. Mayor. Is he in this... large building up here, maybe? Ah! Oh. This dog is cute. His name? Turbo is what he's called. I named him after my grandmother's dog. My grandmother's dog is dead, by the way. <laughs> I don't have any other part for that. Never mind. Father's invention certainly caused me a lot of trouble. You might cause a lot of trouble, too. I don't care how old you are. If you mess up, I'll get you. Watch it. Well... I'm off to mess up your crap right now. Hey, you! You can't come in the police station without permission! What, what if I have to report a crime? What if I have... To, what if I'm in trouble, man? Just... No, you have to ring the doorbell. You can't just come in. I can't read his diary, see how he wants, like... Cream of criminal soup. Cream that I've made with my knuckles! In their face! I don't know. Anyway, I'm assuming this is the mayor's house. It's the big one. Ah, reception. Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Meeting the mayor. He's in the room all the way in the back. Just let me hit A to get rid of the message. I don't want to read the message twice again. I'm sure you're, you've got a great personality, but I've got things to do, people to see, mayors to meet. Yeah, here's the mayor. I'm taking care of communications with the townspeople. I'm trying to find the time to talk to young people like you. <clears throat> now you're a resident of Rococo. Use your youth for the world, humanity, and the town and all that. This man here, Dr. Einst, that that's not referring to anything, is a famous inventor. Rumors of hackers continue. Hackers? Oh my god. Hackers! I bet. Oh, we're gonna see some... We're gonna see some, uh, skateboard- or not skating, inline skating without regar regards to other people's personal safety, hack the planet, maybe even get a look at Angelina Jolie's boob. Oh man, this is turning out even better and better. It's pointless. There's nothing I can teach a kid like you. The mayor is a busy man. If you want to talk to him, keep it short. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a goodie? Or is that just... No, that's just an, uh, uh, an ottoman. 
<laughs> I almost called it something else. Uh, it doesn't work to anyone. <laughs> so it's almost like the governor from uh, Blazing Saddles. No matter what, his secretary, Rose, does everything. Well, almost. I'm so ashamed. More like uh, Mayor from uh, Powerpuff Girls, then. Oh, wish Bellum! <laughs> I almost gave him those voices, too. Of course, I can't do a Mayor, but that hardly matters. Anyhow, we, we, in we introduced ourselves to the Mayor. Now what? Just, I'm gonna... No one's home. Let's break in! We'll reenact uh, the very first house that the Wet Bandits rob in uh, Home Alone 1. Flood the place. And, oh my god, will you check out the neon lights on that? This shop had a time traveler come from the, from the late 20th century with neon lights. Somehow, we also have electricity. The Krispy Shop. Yes, I'd like an order of a box of Krispy Kremes. Yes, yes, yes. Krispy Kremes. Ah, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, give me those, uh, those lovely donuts. Or just talk to me. I might have wanted to buy something from your shop. No longer. Inventor's friend. Ah, come on! All these levels I've never seen yet. Hey, don't come in the back without permission. I thought there... I could actually buy stuff back there. Come on, Mr. Crunchy Shop Owner. All right. Is this our house? I don't think so. Hello. Who are you? What do you want? You can't just barge into people's houses. I rang the doorbell. My mother is the mayor's receptionist. If you have business, go there. I ring the doorbell. Excuse me. Is this our house? The one right at, ooh, right at the entrance to town. Great. Oof. Ah, is that our father? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. People actually do uh do actually look at you when you turn to them. That's pretty cool. Oh no, it's Akihabara. Wait. Oh god, that's our father! Ha! <laughs> so I wasn't even talking, thinking about my mother, I was thinking about my father! Oh, okay, so Nagisa's gonna be our assistant. We've got a robot book, and we've got some weird thoughts about our father now. Kurogane? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, we're not leaving the cat. Ah. <sighs> oh, fine, fine, fine. We've gotta read a book. Just what I wanted from a video game. More work. I'm leaving information about robots here in this book. A robot is not just a tool. He can say that again. It is an ally who can do things that humans can't do themselves, like kill other humans because it leaves emotional and psychological scars. Like friends, robots can be trusted. So long as you have the right equipment installed. Robots will help you like friends do sometimes. Alex understood robots. Now you can make a robot too. Just get a few things from your home kitchen, ask your parents for permission. You're gonna need... You're gonna need 2,000 GP. I'm assuming those are gold pieces. You're gonna need a little bit of uh, metal wire, some aluminum foil, a little bit of paper mache maybe, a box, and an electrical outlet. Now, put yourself in the box, hold on to the wire, you can round out the shape of your robot a little with the paper mache if you'd like, and then you have to plug yourself the robot in, using the electrical wire, into the electrical outlet. 
If you are young and you are listening to this, do not do that. That is a terrible, terrible idea. You will get seriously hurt. If you are young and watching this, why are you watching this? You have better things to do. Plan out your future and do not end up making videos like this. Anyway, we've got the inventing pad. It's an SNES controller. Reading and the like. Reading and the like. Speaking with people <laughs> will give you idea. Did that that like? Uh, okay. Anyway, combining items will also work. So your robot scan can be main, made, maintained, and powered up, and also are also possible. This is a great translation. First, Alex, create a robot. Easy as pie. Let's make a robot. Oh, a stranger. Never used this machine before, eh? Choose a task from the commands menu at the top of the screen. Select item. LR button. Robot item. Why? Bad item. Oh, that's not them talking. Combine two items. Clean and cure. Cycle. Aha! Make a robot. 2,000 gold points. Yes, let's get to work. I am glad we have a machine to make robots. And how it works is we have little people to do our slave labor. Oh, they're large now. Well, this is just a regular sweatshop now. This is really cool. Well, that is definitely a robot. Oh god, now I have to name it. Let's name it. Hmm. What do we name our first robot? Our first minion in the Legion of Doom. Our first... The first member, our second in command of the robot army. Our three star general, so to speak. Well, I'm going to name him after a close friend who I would definitely make the first in command of my army. Row. A lot of points. Oh man, this is great. I don't know where to allot points. Body color. Oh, I can change his body color completely. Make him black like my heart. Hmm, might make a little bit of a. Uh... I'm not sure, actually. I'm really not sure what to do. I'm gonna give him a nice purple. Or a nice indigo paint job. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. That looks sort of dashing. Alright, so... I'm assuming that's HP, the energy. Hmm. I don't know if I want to do this or not. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take out some points. I'm gonna make sure he has at least 35, because I feel like otherwise we're gonna be screwed. Okay. I'm good with that. We might be at a little bit of a disadvantage to begin with, but whatever. 
Cool, a robot. Now do the maintenance in the powerhouse. Okay. With the invention machine, a robot's strength can be programmed, tested later. Oh, so I can change everything, I think. And I'll give you a little transceiver, you can communicate with me anywhere. I really hope that this isn't like Final Fantasy XIV and you're gonna be like, Hey, how's it going? I heard that you did X, Y, or Z. I heard that you saved the mini monkey man of the 8th dimension. Or you fought the mini monkey man and saved the 8th dimension. Now come back and talk to me about it. <laughs> I really hope that's not how it works. Remember it. I didn't hear that sound. <laughs> I think it went like doo doo doo. So. Well, that one task is done. Let's go upstairs. Oh, yeah. About your robot. Show it to your father. It'll make him happy. Yes, we get to go to the suburbs! Aw, oh, man, this place is so cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I wish it uh, actually showed me how... Okay, it costs money to change things? Oh, no, 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 there we go. Skill. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I just want to get fighting with my robots. It's gonna be great. Yes. Oh, let's save actually. Yes. Uh, robot parameters. If this is raised, it increases enemy damage. If this is raised, you will suffer less damage. That's why I gave him two. If this is raised, you can avoid attacks. If this is raised, increases rate of recovery. Uh, and I want to see traits as well. Because I've been up to three robots, but number two and three will have their own traits. Number two can fight close in. Number three has a strong special attack. Use each one accordingly. Okay, this is not really telling me anything, but whatever. We'll figure it out as we go along. Okay. Seems to be working. Yes, I just saved. <laughs> All right, so let's go find our dad in the suburbs. I want to fight with a robot! Yes! Yes, I get to fight. No, I'm on a rail. Oh. That's too bad. Oh, let's check the mail. Good, they haven't sent us any crappy flyers good thing. There's not even a uh, freaking supermarket around. Oh, is this our mother's grave? Akabaro, family tomb is carved. Alex tells the stone all that's happened. That's great. Alright. Let's go find our dad. How about it, doctor? A good salary, benefits, and health insurance. It never changes. Your hack is all... Uh, You hackers appear all alike. What an evil bunch! What's what's that? That's what you say, but evil is good. Evil is the job. Come on, you even get dental. For our future, we need great inventors with your kind of power. Hmm. I appreciate your interest, but I can't use my inven inventions for evil. I'll show you my latest invention. You want to know what it is? Oh. A, a trumpet? I, I remember. In, in high school, I was in the band. It's not just a trumpet. You use it like this. Whoa! <laughs> Way to go, Dad. You showed him. I'm sure he won't be back in force with, like, 20 other soldiers to kick your ass. Oh, Alex. Wow! A robot! I've never seen one of those before. You must use it, too. If you configure the robot's status and skill with the invention machine, 
You can make the robot stronger. Hmm. What? Him? He's been around late lately. A hacker soldier. He's spying. Inventions have a meaning if they're useful. If they're useful, using them for evil is out of the question. You can have this. A surprise horn. It's really loud. It will be useful. <laughs> okay. We got a surprise horn. What that does, no clue, but we'll find out. Besides scaring off a one lousy hacker. Ooh, let's go through Dad's, uh... Is this a computer? Connect! Welcome to Quintet Network! Electrazer 2, Illusion of Gaia, popular new releases! Buy them, buy them, buy them! I have both of them. <laughs> no carrier. No, I didn't... I don't want to hear about Act Razor 2 and Illusion of Gaia. They're great games! So I don't even have to face the person, it seems. That's cool. Alright, so... <sighs> Traits... I don't know what this means. I'll have to look up a guide, I think, in order to figure out what that means, but... No. Like, I'm actually getting quite into, quite into this game. I mean, we've been going for almost half an hour now, and I'm, like... Since we're close, let's visit your ancestors' graves. Hey, kid, wait! Ah! Our first fight? Please, 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 I want to see the fighting! Hey kid, are you the son of Dr. Akihabara? Come with me. The hacker boss said to take you as a hostage if the doctor doesn't cooperate. Huh! Yes! 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 We get to fight! I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Okay, so we're on a timer. Let's use sword. Yes! I have no idea if we're actually doing a lot of damage to him, but... Bomb? Yes! This is great! Ah, uh, we increased two megs of data. Okay. <laughs> ah, great. Beaten by a kid. What will I tell the guys? I'll never live this down. It's almost like being beaten by a woman. <laughs> All right, let's visit the family graves on the stone occupier. Family tomb is carved out of the stone. All that's happened. <laughs> like how. <laughs> Just wave ridiculously when we run. Oh, this is gonna be fun, though. Ooh. Uh, what's the matter? What? A hacker soldier? He was! I'm glad you're safe. Nagisa worries when you're late. Return to Rococo. Alright. Since we're close, let's visit your ancestors' graves. I. I. Okay, I. I did that, but since we're close, you're my dad. Of course we're close. Anyway, it'll be lots of trouble, but for the sake of the children's lives, please help. But be careful. It's very dangerous by the river. Well, let's go. What? <laughs> what? What happened? The children ran off towards the riverside. They're landslides and hackers are afoot. I'm gonna go get them. Ah, uh, finally. <laughs> finally, I get to actually have some action. Well, we could have visited Nagisa. No, I'm gonna visit Nagisa. I'm not... 
Not that cruel. Plus, I want to save. La 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 la. Save, please. Yes. Alright, now let's go fight some more hackers. With our sweet robot. Yes! Finally, we get to fight! Oh, this is great! Uh, well, hacker monsters lurking about, that seems sounds fantastic to me. Oh, this is great! Oh, it's so fun! Oh, it's gonna be great. Oh my god, I can't... Oh, that's it? Okay. Um, let me actually... He's not doing so hot, is he? Uh... Wait, wait, wait. How much energy? I'm gonna leave him be for right now. Just because I don't know how long... Again, I don't know how much energy he, he's gonna actually... need, so... Mm. Well, let's go up and... Uh... Oh, come on. It's my turn. There we go. Try using... S oh, see? Sword does fine. Never mind. Oh, I'm really hoping... This gets more complicated, because this is great as it is. Oh my god, more robots! Oh. I didn't realize I could pick those up. I'll have to go back down and get the other one. I want to fight more! Oh, this is fun. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Let's see what I can do. Well, I'm not doing a huge amount of damage, so I should be able to do something. See, I wonder, are those just supposed to be bombs? Oh, no, no. Am I expected to try to walk over them? I don't know. So the other thing I did here is that, interestingly enough, our robots will not level up, but our character will. Ah, just 300 gold pieces just laying there. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's hold up. Let's, here's hoping we can actually take this guy on without, uh... Yeah, here's hoping we can t actually take this guy on without taking too much damage. Well, that's not bad. He was much weaker than I expected, actually. Now we got these guys. They're no big deal. Oh. These guys might be a bit bigger of a deal. Hmm, not really. So wait, if we have two robots, does that mean that one of them can use the other's turn? Because that's what it looks like from here. Well, anyway, I'll have to use Cure after this, because we're getting quite low on energy.
Wait, wait, wait. We want to use it this way. There we go. We're ready for another fight. It's just that that in initial uh, hacker fight kind of took me down a little. Ah, here we go. We're at the river. We can save those children. What's that, Crow? You say that Timmy's fallen in a river. But you say that I shouldn't save Timmy because then I'll take away jobs from good working, uh, well, not American, but good working police officers who were just trying to do the right thing and didn't have the right equipment like I did? Well, that, that proves to be quite a conundrum, Crow, because you see, my dad told me that I shouldn't use robots. I shouldn't have robots unless they're useful. So that means I'm going to have to actually get rid of you since you don't want to save Crow. Or don't want to save Timmy. See my conundrum? Ah! A slime! <laughs> Even in a robot game we can't get, a get away from those. Oh no. Is that going to rust me? I hope not, because that would be quite, uh... Maybe? Um, I'm really hoping we're not stunlocked or something. I'm gonna guard for now. Hope that does something. There we go. Yeah, we can hit him from there. Alright. That was scary, actually, because I wasn't sure what was gonna get happen. Yes! More gold. Yeah, whatever, Rococo police. I do what I want. Yeah. Breaking the law. Breaking the... Oh. That's probably too deep for us. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Duh, duh, breaking the law. Breaking the law. Alright, let's... Let's hurt an innocent bird. Hey there, bird. Take that. <laughs> Hmm, this guy's actually using tactics. Oh, okay, can we just... No, I don't want to run... anything. I just want to attack the guy. Oh! That's not good at all. So... Anyway, this has been Robotech. Trek. Robotrek. Um, I did, wasn't paying attention to my health, so there you go. You know what? I'm obviously going to continue this game, but I don't think I'm going to be continuing it in a series. This is just for my own enjoyment at this time. At this time, I think. But, um, I should grab some more cures while I'm in town. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'll take junk, whatever. But I, what I really want is to be able to buy some junk from you, too. I'm gonna check for any more junk in your, uh... Level 23! Uh check to see if there's any more junk in the back. Scrap two. Oh. Gotta repair, too. Guess I should just kind of mash A when I, whenever I'm close to anything. Hey, look, I, I got another cure. Jeez. I didn't think those were hiding anything. Oh, okay, that's a little magnifying glass that he's pulling out. It took me a second to figure out what that was. And by a second, I mean longer than half an hour. I came to buy. Oh, I don't want that. I want cure. How much? Oh, no, no, no. 
Oh, I've got to buy them all individually. Ooh, this is not cool. Okay, might be rethinking things a little bit. Okay, so that's like a revive. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta find out. Alright, I gotta find out, is there a way to change the text speed because it's getting annoying? I don't think there is. Oh, there is, okay. Oh. Okay, and there's a lot of different things. Okay, that's... Oh, that's gonna be much better. Let's see. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can deal with that now. Oh, that's so much better. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys. Um, this has been a look at Robot Trek. Robo Trek. And it looks pretty good. So, I'm definitely going to continue playing this. Let me know if you want me to continue playing it, but at this point, it's pretty much I'm going to be playing it on my own. So, anyway, see you guys. And I like the music, actually. For world map music, this is not bad. So, alright. Take care, everybody. Bye now.